The following program is brought to you by Caltech. I like Thai food. Thai food's delicious. I especially like going to Thai restaurants, the smell, the curries, everything is wonderful. But there's one thing, if I get a menu, and I look down the appetizer list, there's sometimes this dish listed called Mikrob. Now, what is Mikrob? There's a South Park episode that fully explains Mikrob. Cartman is upset. They've gotten, someone said shit on TV and it's now acceptable. It took all the fun out of it, so now he has to use a different curse word. So instead, he, lend, he ends up on Mikrob. Stan asks, what's Mikrob? Cartman goes, it's that dish you get as an appetizer at Thai food restaurants that really, really sucks. Believe me, it's the worst thing ever. I'd rather have 10 plates of shit than one plate of meat crop. No, I'm serious. <laughs> it sounds like, okay. So what's the deal with meat crop? Meat crop reminds me of this past summer. Oh my goodness. I was at Microsoft. I was there during an internship. It was a Friday, 4 a.m. My midterm review was coming up on that, the next following Tuesday. I was tired, I had to do some coding, I had to you know, finish up what I, was, what I was doing. And I noticed at this late hour that my manager was still online on this thing called Link, it's an instant messaging service that Microsoft uses. And he had a status. His status was Abyss Gazer, A-B-Y-S-S space G-A-Z-E-R. And it's from this very philosophical quote from Nietzsche about how when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares right back at you. I'm not a philosophical guy, and I was looking at this. It's 4 a.m., and something seemed wrong about abyss gazer. What was wrong? What was wrong? Something, something was up. It hit me. Oh, my goodness. Abyss gazer is an anagram of gassy zebra. <laughs> there it was. It was beautiful, gassy zebra. Immediately, I open up the chat window, send him the message. Hey, did you know your status is an anagram of gassy zebra? He's like, ha ha, very funny. Um, would it make you happy if I came into work tomorrow uh, wearing you know, a striped t-shirt? And I was like, if you flatulate as well, absolutely. <laughs> um, anyways, the conversation ends. I'm supposed to go back to work, um, but I don't do that. I can't let this go. I quickly bing gassy zebra to Microsoft so I don't Google. And, uh, and uh, a whole bunch of photos come up, some of which I, I won't describe here. <laughs> but there's also a link to Amazon for stuffed animal zebras. And there was a giant one and one that was sort of wooden. And then, then there was this, this nice small one that was only $8, which is you know, what my manager deserves. So an $8 gassy zebra. I know his mailing address, so I sent it to him. But I need to make it gassy somehow. Whoopee cushions, no. What to do? I needed something that was primable as well. Fart bombs. 60 fart bombs was the smallest package I could get that was primable. So there it was, added it to the cart, sent it his way. You know, went on with my day, finished up coding. You know, kind of forgot about it. Tuesday comes, day of the midterm review. We're there sitting in the couch of this building, Building 86. No one liked Building 86. Um, it used to be a warehouse. No windows besides the operating systems. Um, <laughs> you couldn't complain about 86, because then they'd send you to 87, which was even worse. Um, so there we were, 86, on the couch. And uh, we're talking, and we get past you know, my actual code, which is boring. Um, and he's talking about. Uh, sort of what life was like when he, when he came to the US and needed to get his first job. And he said that he was deciding between Amazon and Microsoft. And uh, at the time, Microsoft was the big player in the industry, and so he went with Microsoft. But every once in a while, Amazon will send him a message saying, hey, do you want to come work for us? Do you want to interview? They'll send him a LinkedIn invite. You know, one time they even sent him a small gift. And as he's telling me this, a UPS man walks in. He's asking for Rishi. It's my manager's name. And Rishi's not at his desk. He's there with me on the couch. And uh, he's like, I'm Rishi. UPS man walks over. He's like, I have a package for you. Rishi's confused. He didn't order a package. Um, UPS man, he go back and forth for a little bit. Eventually I say, hey, 
It might be something from Amazon. It's in an Amazon box. I think they want you back. I think they want you. This is a gift from them. It's going to be amazing. He's like, oh, maybe it is. So he signs for it, takes the package. He asks if he can open it up now. Sort of a childhood glee is on his face. Almost like you know, a kid, you know, Christmas Day. There he is. He gets this present. And I am so excited for what's about to happen. So he opens the box slowly and reaches in. And I will say, whoever packed this box deserves a medal. He's reaching in. And the first thing he touches, actually pierces in this case, is one of the fart bombs. The whole entire room, 95 degree building 86, starts to smell, starts to reek. Everyone looks over. I point at him. It was him, not me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, he, he, he was turning red. He was enraged. Oh, oh my God. It was wonderful. I was laughing on the floor. Um, and after he said he was going to fail me for my midterm review and finally recanted, he we got back on good terms. We're still friends. Oh, but there was one last thing. When you send someone a present on Amazon, you can include a little gift message. And so I told him to read it. And I included a little limerick. It went like this. There was once a gassy zebra who was born under the star sign Libra. To the heavens his butt raised, into abysses he gazed. And for miles it now smells like me crab. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>